It's time for the my ultimate trick up my sleeve. That's right. It's time to summon the shade of Arniel Gain! Baba! Fuck him up, Arniel Gain! <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> yes! Yes! Meet my fucking trap card, fucker! <laughs> this is a man who is not bound by fate! <laughs> Though he really is bound by something. <laughs> Whatever it is, it ain't great. Alright. Uh-oh. He's turned red! Look, Arnie Gain ain't fucking giving up. Hey. What up? He's busy. That doesn't seem good. <laughs> oh no, did Arniel mess it up? When we had last left the last Dragonborn, they returned to the untold legends of legend, to the realm of Apocrypha that belonged to Hermaeus Mora, and it was there that they sought out yet another black book, for before when they tread through that accursed plain of oblivion, yes, they were kept by a gatekeeping gate, but alas, through powers unknown were they able to pass by its horrible wrath. <laughs> and they got the book! Woo! And then proceeded to exit the area and do all manner of fun things, like almost breaking the game, perhaps, by accidentally updating it, and uh, screaming at a dragon, and flying around on it! Woohoo! And then, finally, did they return to Kolbjorn Barrow, where more of the ancient Nordic ruins were uncovered by Rallus Sedaris, or whatever his name was. And what lurked within? It was a fun little ring! Woohoo! And it was time to, once again, hire some more people, because the body count kept going up, baby! It was time to sacrifice more innocent lives on the altar of exploration. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Dragonborn. <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> Man, for real, like, what is our body count? on the fucking Kolbjorn Barrow thing, right? Even if we if we split the body count 50-50 between The Last Dragonborn and Rallus Sedaris or whatever his name is, even if we do that, does our body count here not exceed the body count of Carneus Magius back in the third era during the Blood Moon expansion? Like, he, he is just... Flat out a villain, right? Sure, you can side with him, but he is flat out villainous. If you're siding with him, you're siding up, you're choosing to roleplay a more villainous character, right? Case in point, our more uh, recent going Morrowind Mondays, right? The volume two. We're to somewhat my villainous. To time to seek my fortune. I should have stayed at home. But yeah, we've killed a lot of people. <laughs> Anyway, also, I've done a lot of things in between videos. Alas, I was not able to quite get everything fixed up, but there were several numerous attempts. But, however, there was a lot of crafting going on, for I have finally crafted my ideal set of armor. And it has moved, it has come to life. Whoa! Uh, the kind with the, like, nice fabric sash or whatever across the chest is my favorite. But alas, it is not the improved one, so it's all improved bone mold, except for the chest plate, right? Because you can't get that with the cloth, and I love the cloth, it's gotta be said. However, we're not wearing it just yet because we need to get it enchanted, right? And, if you remember from a long- well, actually, fuck, I guess I could have enchanted it, right? <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> maybe next time, maybe next time. Alright, you know what, think about it this way. It's a reward for completing the main arc of this DLC. Huh? Finally, I'll be able to have the armor, my favorite armor. Right? But yeah, we want to use the Enchanter's Elixirs, and I do, I would like to custom name the armor, right? So it'll take a little bit of time to type out the name and everything, because, you know, the clock is ticking on the buff while you're typing in a name and all that, right? So. Some care is to be had. For whatever reason, I thought I only had two. Maybe I, like, inflated it with the Enchanter's filter, right? And obviously, if, if you're new to the, the playthrough here, a long-ass time ago, 
uh, we decided that we'll have a self-imposed limitation on enchanting to where we'll only ever... Oh, you know what? Another good reason. But we'll get to that. But a self-imposed limitation on the fact that I don't want to make, make and use custom uh, fortify enchanting uh, elixir or potions, right? Because they can just get ridiculously strong, right? I'm fine with smithing uh, elixirs and stuff to increase your smithing and all that because there's a upward cap. There's like a ceiling on how good armor can get, right? Once it hits like 575, 80 something, you're at the cap and no matter how much more smithing you got, it's not going to do anything, right? But that is not the case with enchanting. So we're kind of holding off on it. We're only using bonuses that we find in the world, not like, <clears throat> not like custom player made stuff. Gosh, did you hear me? I'm like so excited about the armor. My voice was like warbling. Like I got nervous. Did you hear that? I like warbled a little bit. What? <laughs> anyway, so we'll get all that situated and sorted, right? We got a nice set here. If anything, I could do with improving it even more to where I can wear it without the helmet. But I do like the helmet. Also, we got two levels. I put them both into health. Well, I'd say as you can see, but our health is a little bit diminished. Why is it diminished? Why is that? Yeah, why is our health diminished right now? What's doing that? I'm not like tired or anything. Yeah, the bar is at full. Huh, what's doing that? Weird. And shouldn't it be higher than 360? Maybe that's why I'm dying so quick. Did my health like reset or something? Huh. Huh. Something worth keeping in mind. Anyway, we got two levels, right? Uh, we got some perks. I put some perks into lockpicking since, you know, we're now playing on, like, Lyle's secret special survival mode brew. Well, I didn't actually put one into lockpicking. My bad. <laughs> I put I put him somewhere. Where did I put him? Who knows? I don't know. It's a secret. It's a surprise. It's a surprise and secret that not even I know. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. We're already in shambles. <laughs> First with the enchanting elixirs, now with the lockpicking thing. But what I did do, what I do remember doing, in addition to crafting up quite a few things and all that, right? We got our smithing up as high as we could go, uh, making use of all of our stuff. I think I did put a point in the smithing right there. Uh, but we did all that. I crafted up a whole bunch of arrows and whatnot. All that's looking great. But also... I leveled up Alteration a decent amount by way of using Telekinesis, right? Not using the, like, secret thing where uh, you hold uh, an item and then you fast travel or whatever, right? Which I don't even think we can do on survival mode, right? Even if you use... Yeah, because you can't hold an item while you talk to a carriage driver or whatever, right? So we can't even do that even if we wanted to, which I don't really want to. But I leveled that up and I leveled up... Illusion to 100 by way of casting Muffle a whole lot while I was doing stuff in between videos, right? They were already fairly high, but we just got Illusion maxed out. Got a few levels in Alteration. And Alteration might be the way to go for power leveling going forward, right? As we want to. It's an interesting way to convert, like, all the excess mana potions or magicka potions that we'll come into contact with. We can convert that into alteration XP very handily by just like, um, I'll fave it and set it on like a number or whatever. And then as I'm just like telekinesing like a bale of hay, I can just be popping potions to restore up magicka, right? It seems like a great way to just convert all that stuff. And I looked it up and it's roughly a 200 they said roughly 200 soul gems are needed to get um, your enchanting maxed out, so I didn't futz around with that yet, which probably for the best. Oh, speaking of enchanting, I was I just got reminded of a good reason why we shouldn't have done the enchant off yet, because we can, we can get more enchanting in a non-like exploitative way, right? The Ajidal set from Kolbjorn Barrow. Right? Didn't, wasn't there like a 10% enchanting bonus per piece that you wear? Something like that? Maybe it was alchemy. I think it was enchanting though, right? So we should definitely wear all of that in conjunction with our other enchanting boons and whatnot, right? So hey, 
it all works out. Anyway, let's be off on to, let's see here, read waking dreams. Shit, should we do that? Should we just do it? Fuck it, we should just do it, right? We should just fucking do it. Hell yes, we should. All right, I'm doing it. Let's see. I mean, we're good to go. We're good to go. I've got healing potions. I used up all the magicka potions that we had stored long ago, right when we first began the DLC. I still have a few ultimate magicka, which honestly, maybe I should have used them up to get uh, alteration even higher, but eh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's head on over to fucking the Waking Dreams, Waking Nightmare, whatever it was. All right, there we are. Good. Okay. Lovely. This is the very first one we had, right? It's time to do it. It's time to end this. It's time to finish the fight, sir. We're giving the Covenant back their bond. Oh. Oh, we get put here. Oh, look at this glowing dude. Okay. Frankly, I'm surprised that the dragons don't look more tentacly, right? They just have like a long head or whatever. Okay. Oh, we gotta fly over there, don't we? Okay. Whew. Let's get this going. Great. Oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna bend Will on you. Why not? Oh god, if I... Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, that's great, but you're being shot at by little men. Little Invisimen. Hang on, I'm gonna take care of him, dude. I'm gonna get the Invisimen. There we go. Oh, shit! Ooh, what got- Oh, I got whipped! Of course! Motherfucker. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Hang on. What happened? <laughs> Look, my- MY HANDS! MY HANDS! <laughs> Fuck. Uh... Ooh. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> alright, alright, it's fine. Look, we'll just- <laughs> We'll read it again. We'll read it- We'll read it again. This time we won't get whipped by the tentacle. Right? It's fine. Oh shit, I'm in combat? With who? Huh? Why does it shake this world? <laughs> That's not good. That's really bad. Okay, we're in stealth. Alright, maybe we just had like a short cooldown period? Here we go. Wait, am I considered still in combat back in the other realm? Back in the plane of oblivion? Is that it? Oh shit, now I can never finish <laughs> Alright, you know, I thought it would be fun to come back, you know, the, the normal way, but we're just gonna quick load it. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Oh shit, we're back here! <laughs> okay, alright, that's fine. We didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Hey, we'll, we'll do this from the safety of our own humble abode. There we go. That isn't right. Yeah, say something, Teldrin. Say something. Okay? I'm reading the book. Fuck off. Alright. Good. Let's get Bend Will at the ready here. Man, the the whippersnappers are really doing a shitload to us, huh? They like practically one shot at me. Alright, let's wait on this dude. Gotcha! Okay. Let's do a quick save while we're in here. Good. Okay, dude, that's great. I'm a little busy, though. Hang on. Aren't you supposed to be bent to my will? Aren't you supposed to help me here a bit, dude? Fucking whippersnappers are whipping me. Nasty men are flicking at me. It's not good. God, I can't even see them. There they are. Okay. We're going to try and carefully avoid the whip. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. Dude, I don't even know if my block works against their powerful might. Come on, dude. Give me a hand. 
There we go. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready, dude. Let's go. Oh shit, my magicka is so fucked. What's well, being sucked? Who's sucking it up? Is it you? All right, let's go. Serotar. Hang on, oh, I can do a heal now. Oh, they must have been like sucking me up. The like flicking men. Okay. Here we go. Oh shit, yeah. Thank goodness you have a nice little groove there on your head for me to sit on. <laughs> Lest I have some of your weird, like, draconic fins going he right into my butt crack. Mirak is strong. He knew you would come here. Okay. Oh, shit. Alright. Target lock. Look, I'm ready now. Attack! Oh, shit. I, I shot a shot at them. Okay. <laughs> Wait, how do I make you shoot again? Oh, fuck yes. Get them! Hell yes, hell yes. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, hey. <laughs> uh, let's get a little bit of... How about some lightning? There we go. Oh, where are you going? I die if I go in there! <laughs> Jeez! Okay, let's swap targets to the Lurker. Attack! Attack target! Oh shit, I need to draw my spells out. I think I got them. Do I have them? Oh shit. Maybe I just need to get down there and fucking rumble with them. How do I- How do I shoot? I was able to shoot before. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, don't do that. All right. <laughs> yes, Thori. What gold? I will land at once. Okay. Yo, whoa, where are we going? You own this grief toll. It cannot be done. Oh, we weren't gonna land there? Oh, sh- Oh. So, Rotar, are you so easily swayed? Dude, you sound like a fucking cyborg. No, not yet. We should greet our guest first. How's this for a fucking greeting? <laughs> oh shit, it didn't work on him. Oh shit. Okay, hang on. I yield. I yield. I, let's hear you out. Okay, let's hear the lore. Oh, quick loading. <laughs> so the first dragonborn meets the last dragonborn at the summit of Apocrypha. No doubt, just as Hermaeus Mora intended, he is a fickle master, you know. But now I will be free of him. My time in Apocrypha is over. You are here in your full power, and thus subject to my full power. You will die, and with the power of your soul, I will return to Soul's time and be master of my own fate once again. Cruise it. Oh, he too has recognized that he is in fact a prisoner bound by prophecy. <gasps> Perhaps such a similar fate will await for us, but for now it's time to kick ass. All right. Let's see. Actually, do I just want to control dragons? Maybe I just want to control them. Oh shit, maybe they're fighting for us. Okay. It's rumble time, dude. Get a load of this, baby! Ugh. Ooh, what's that? Yeah, I got on my hot bar too. That's right, you should have gone shield build. Fucking fool. Alright, where'd you go? Is that you over there? Okay, yep. Ah! Shit, I'm on cooldown. Ooh, ooh, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Ah! Good stuff. 
Okay. Fate decreed that you had to die so that I could win my freedom. Ooh, he got sucked in. Uh oh. Does he power up or something? Oh shit, he's sucking it off. Oh, he's squirting a bunch at me. It's bullet hell now. Oh, hey, you you missed every single one of them, you idiot. <laughs> Look, you can't even get me. <laughs> nice aim, jackass. Maybe you should have took the mask off first. All right, good. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Good. Oh, geez. Look, it's still lingering on the ground. Ooh, oh, shit. Okay. I thought it would be like a... Oh! Look at that. Some reactivity, huh? Alright. Good. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Deftly avoided. Let's see. What have you got? A whole bunch of weird shit. Look, he doesn't take the dragon bones and stuff anymore ah. either. <laughs> You're getting cumbered. <laughs> All right. They wanted to use me to deal with Alduin. Hack on in the rest. I chose otherwise. Ooh, we don't even know about that other dude. Ooh, that's cool. I should probably not be stunning him. That way we can actually hear the VA or the VO. Okay. Let's go over here. You fight valiantly against fate, but I am stronger than you. All right. Should we get some healing? Oh fuck, that's gonna hurt. Uh, let's do ultimate healing. Why not? Okay, it doesn't lift me up. Hey, maybe I should use my cool dragon power ability thing too. Let's see, what's it called? Become Dragon? Dragon Aspect. <laughs> yeah, become Dragon. I become Dragon! Oh, he's turned into a globbledy gluk man. Well, he's gonna suck this one dry too. Man, how do I learn that one? You're just fucking sucking them dry right quick. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, that's my dude. Okay. Oh, you can't do this? Oh, how many words you got on this one, huh? Not that many, huh? Okay. <laughs> Let's go over here. Great. Oh, shit. You should not have. <laughs> Look, he, he's the he's the guy who started it. <laughs> you never should have come here. <laughs> he started it. They all speak in my tongue. All right. Rule of threes, right? Oh no, he's hitting me with his nasty goo. <laughs> Dog, you're still fighting to be the master of your own fate. I don't know what you're talking about. That's why we're fighting right now. Alright. Oh, God. But it is kind of tragic, right? Because, in a sense, neither of us are masters of our own fate, right? Like, this is prophecy to happen. Right? This is meant to happen. Both of us fighting to the death. We are but pawns in a greater game. Okay. You know. You know the game I'm talking about. That's right. The Elder Scrolls. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright. I like how sometimes when he does a shout, it sounds like he's talking backward. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck was that? <laughs> you can talk? Damn. Alright. Hang on. It's time for the my ultimate trick up my sleeve. That's right. That's right. How, who could forget? Who could fucking forget? It's time to summon the shade of Arneal Gain! Uh, ba -ba! 
fuck him up, Arnie O'Gain. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> yes. Yes. Meet my fucking trap card, fucker. <laughs> this is a man who is not bound by fate. <laughs> Though he really is bound by something. <laughs> Whatever it is, it ain't great. All right. Uh-oh. He's turned red. Look, Arnie will gain ain't fucking giving up. Hey. What up? He's busy. That doesn't seem good. Should I kill him? <laughs> oh no, did Arnie will mess it up? <laughs> did Arnie will gain mess it up? Arnie will, you're fucking it up. <laughs> Arnie will is too bloodthirsty. Oh no, what has happened? <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, I think <laughs> I think Arniel really messed it up for real. Oh, what do we do now? Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well, now what? Fuck, now I really am bound by fate. I can't even get him. <laughs> what do I do? What do what do I do? <laughs> All right. You know, I would I would say, oh, this is from me uh, haphazardly installing the anniversary edition. Nah, I think this would have happened no matter what. <laughs> I feel like this would just happen. How about uh, maybe if I just kill him? Hang on, look. If I can't kill you through this, I feel like I have earned the kill. He's indestructible. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Do I go in this? Does this do something? Do I need to bend Will? Oh God. It has no effect. Jesus Christ. It really feels like it was because I summoned Arniel Kane. <laughs> oh, what an idiot I am. What a fool. All right, let's quick load, I guess. That's the only thing I can think of. You will die. Oh, shit, we are way back here. Soul, I will return the soul's time and be Okay. We'll just fucking run him through as After fast as we can. once again. Okay, here we go. It's rumble time, baby. Speed run time. Let's see, let's get... Dragon Whoa, Aspect active. Good. Okay. And then... Let's get... I don't want to do slow time, because that might fuck shit up. We'll just have the whirlwind sprint. And then... Let's see, over here, let's get... We'll resist magic, why not? <laughs> I don't think I don't think it even have, has, has an effect on us. We're, I'm pretty sure we're capped. Uh, let's get one-handed... Yeah, elixir of conflict? Why not? There we go. Alright. We already heard your shit. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you come out, too. Alright. I almost forgot. Good. Alright. Getting him. Look at him run. Look at him run. Alright. Good. I feel like maybe Arniel Gain got him beyond a threshold where he was meant to be. Right? <laughs> For this final bit. Hey, how come the nasty water doesn't hurt you, Mirak? What's up with that? You fucking hacking again over here, dude? Alright. Maybe his spinning shit doesn't affect me because I'm, uh... I've got the dragon aspect or whatever active. 
Does that act as like some kind of super shielding? Ooh, fuck. Alright. Good. Alright. Let's heal on up here real quick. Meet you in the middle. Let's get another buff going, huh? Let's see. I think my archery ones also give me some... Yeah. Double damage, baby. Okay. Great. Doing good. Okay, over here. Alright, good. Okay. Good. Like, even if this guy is, in a way, like, a victim of greater machinations at play or whatever, right? The cost at which he is going about trying to find his own freedom from prophecy yeah. fate or whatever is totally fucked up, right? The ends do not justify the means that he is taking, right? He is totally, like, risking and endangering a shitload of people just so he himself can be, like, innocent people as well, right? People just fucking chilling. Alright. Oh, shit. Where'd you go? There you are. Alright. You back here? Oh no, you're- wait. Oh. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, here- Oh. You think to escape me, Mirak. You can nothing from me here. Hey, Mirak, I've been there. I've been there, buddy. Dragonborn to serve me. <laughs> May he be rewarded for his service as I am. <sighs> Mira, harbor fantasies of rebellion against me. Learn from the youth example. Serve me faithfully, and you will continue to be richly rewarded. Cool! Ah... Damn, that was there the whole time? <laughs> Did he know about that? Alright, let's take your stuff. Alright, yeah, of course, his hat is his name. Okay. Wait, what did his hat do? Hang on. I didn't- I, I got too distracted with- yeah, okay. Increases Magicka by 70. Let's see here, the boots. Adds 5% to the Dragon Breath and Spell Absorption of Mirax robes. Okay, what does this do? Absorb 15% of the Magicka from Dragon Breath and Spells. Chance on hit to spawn a tentacle explosion. The gloves, another 5%. Okay. So it ends up being, what, 25%? Yeah, one in four. I wonder if that's per tick when it comes to, like, dragon breathing, right? Like, per tick of damage. So maybe it's just proccing a shitload in combat? Not that I would use it, right? Not really my style. Uh, Mirax Staff sprays writhing tentacles on the ground that stagger and poison foes that enter them. Very cool. The sword? Oh, it absorbs 15 points of stamina. Okay. Uh, effective, right? I mean, should we use something very similar? <laughs> Alright, I'll take all of it. Oh, look, another one here? Oh, okay. Should we check out the dragons? Hang on, did he su- uh, okay. I was like, did he suck off less of them this time? Okay, I guess we'll just take all these. Sarotar, how about you? Wild that they all have a name, right? That's very interesting. Oh, shit. Here, let's call up the black market. Hopefully I haven't already used up their power. You hey. have many. Hag living with you oh, can thank be goodness. so entertaining. 
Okay, let's get rid of dragon shit. Don't need it. Good. Okay. I, I could buy that Daedric plate. Yeah, how, how about this? <laughs> you ever been here before? I don't know what plane you're from, but, uh... Huh? Little, little vacation for you? Let's see. Should I take all that? Yep, I can. Okay, good. Cool. Yeah, it definitely feels like... Mirak himself was twisted to doing, like, evil sinister things by way of... I don't know, just living a long-ass time and uh, being... coming to a realization of sorts, right? I'm very curious to know the Mirak before. Uh, before everything, like, went bad for him. It'd be cool if you could meet that person, in fact, right? By the power of the Elder Scrolls, anything like that is possible, right? Who knows, in the future... Oh, shit, right? Once again, leading credence to this wild crackpot theory, if in The Elder Scrolls VI, the villain is our character in Skyrim, right? I don't know how they would do it, right? Like, you know, because you would have to commit to, like, a canonical image for your character or whatever. Unless you, like, I don't know, have them weird fucked up and twisted, right? They become more of a spiritual being or whatever. I don't know. Okay, let's take a look at this. Good. Hidden knowledge. Yeah, it was hidden under there. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, isn't this the old respec system? Ah, uh, I think it is. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I mean, are there any I want to clear? There, there might be, actually. Like... What ones do I not need, really? I don't know. Two-handed. Are there any that I don't really want? I don't know. I kind of like having what I have. Right? The spell ones are useful every now and again. Right? I mean, I guess, like, after we're done crafting, we could drop some. You know? But otherwise... It's... I don't know. We, we got a pretty good thing going. I even got three extra ones, just in case. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Who needs to clear them? I don't need to clear them. Okay. Let's read the book. There we are. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> hey, Teldrin. Hey, Gordon. You won't believe it, but, uh... I saved everybody just then. That's right. <laughs> no? You don't, you don't believe that? I just went through a lot. I even had to quick load. You wouldn't believe it. I, I got stuck because I summoned Arneal Gain. I really think that's what happened. I wasn't even sure if that's what, what did it. But geez, it sure feels like it right now. Okay. Well. Uh. Well, what the fuck do I do now? <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well. <laughs> you got anything to say after that, Teltron? Gordon? No? A little, uh... <laughs> a little anticlimactic. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Look, I don't need a welcoming party. It's okay. I don't need a pat on my back. I don't need someone to, like, pat me on the head for doing a job well done. As much as I would like that. I don't need it. I don't need it. What? I don't need that. It's fine. Look, it's a thankless job. Saving the day, being a hero, being chained to prophecy and all that. Fate intertwined with the destiny of the universe and whatnot. It's all good. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Look, let's go talk to Neloth. Maybe he'll say something about it. <laughs> God, won't someone tell me I did good? <laughs> all right. Let's go, let's go say hello. Maybe he'll have another lead on uh, another black book. I don't know if I've found them all. Okay. Good, good, good. So, is the idea that, like, old Herm Hermamora knows what skills I've been investing in? <laughs> is, is that it? He's just got, like, my character sheet or whatever on, on hand? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Here. Good, good, good. 
We'll speak with Naloth. Is there anyone else we should talk to that, like, knows about this? Oh, yeah, Freya. Oh, uh, yeah, her dad died. Yeah, we sh <laughs> should probably do that. Okay, sure, dude. Yeah, we definitely need to go speak with Freya. <laughs> and probably a lot of other people at that town. Okay. Jeez, if only a dragon would come attack me right about- Oh, shit. Okay. That's good. Did we see this one here before as well? Or am I mistaken? This one, like, flapping off in the distance? I don't know. Yeah, look at that dude. Flying around by the shroomages. Okay. What do you think? Mushrooms. Telvani mushroom homes. Resistant to dragon breath? You think? I don't know. Like, I feel like maybe the magical nature of them could in some way be repellent to the magic damage of the dragon breath, right? Maybe? I don't know. There we are. Speed on along. Okay. You know, Mirak, for being trapped in a realm filled with limitless knowledge and all sorts of cool, like, facts and words and stuff about, like, dragon shit and being so old, he sure didn't know many different shouts, right? Never went out there and tried to learn a whole bunch of fun shouts. What's going on there? <laughs> All right. Let's take care of this asshole. We better quick save just in case as well. Good god. We get taken out by one of these stray blizzards or whatever. There we go. Good. Dude, I can't believe it. I, that Arneal gain. Wow! Jesus! What a dick! What an absolute ass. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, just come by and do that. That's okay. That's okay. Dickhead. Oh, God. You ah! sucking me dry. Okay. All right. We're good. Let's do some more. Let's see. How's my health look again? 447. It's still in the red. Why is it in the red, though? We don't- we're not, like, running a debuff or anything. Let's see. Do I have a black soul gem or anything like that? Is this the same dude from earlier that we tried to control? Good. All right, we'll take that. Okay, now if I use this on you, and then I go inside the shroom, are we gonna be cool? How can I serve you for me? All right, I just need you to. Well, <laughs> what can I say? Teldrin wants to power level a little bit. You're just gonna have to take it. He's leveling up his one-handed. Don't worry about it. Look, you've been through worse. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> All right, let's head on over here. Good, good, good. All right, lovely. Yeah, you just chill out up there for a bit. I need to speak with this wizard lord. Let's heal on up. Tell him the good news. Okay. Huh? Take any of that? Nah. Okay. Or, you know, if if the last Dragonborn doesn't show up in, like, Elder Scrolls VI's core game as a villain, I'd like it if they showed up as a villain in, like, a DLC or something. I'd be down for that. I'd totally be down for that, right? <laughs> okay. Who knows? Maybe you come back to Soul Slime or whatever, right? Ooh, I'd love to see Soul Slime again in a brand spanking new Creation Engine 2, baby. Ooh, I'd like that. <laughs> Who knows? You could throw some more nostalgia there for me, huh? I don't mind. Look, I don't mind. These are just fun ideas. All right. Whoop. How 
hold still. Let me get a good look at you. What do you think, I'm a doppelganger? What are you looking for? Incipient madness, loss of self-awareness, black spots in the whites of the eyes. Any of the documented indications of Hermaeus Mora's permanent influence. Hmm? No, you look fine. Well, at least no different than when I first saw you. Okay. Well, you know, Nellos, I don't think I actually have any white in my eyes at all, ever. Because, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a Dunmer, like you? Yeah? I don't know if you remember this little thing that Azura did to us a few hundred years ago? No? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Don't you know what happened with Mirak? Or don't you want to know? Who? Oh, him. Well, I assume you killed him. Or Hermaeus Mora turned on him when you looked like the winning bet. Or a bit of both. Mm. Mirak's influence has vanished from Solstein. So, I assumed you handled things. Why? Did something interesting happen? Oh my god. Oh, I thought he was about to push me right off. <laughs> no, nothing interesting. I just killed Mirak and saved Solstein. You don't seem very grateful. Look, <laughs> that, that almost sounds like what, what he would say to us. <laughs> that sounds like a Nell offline. All right. Oh, no, nothing interesting. I just killed Mirak and saved Solstheim. Well, that is what you hero types do, isn't it? I wasn't expecting anything less. Now, all that's left are these black books, waiting for another ambitious fool to be lured into Hermaeus Mora's clutches. Speaking of which, I think I've located another book, if you're interested. Here, let me show you. Okay, cool. Was that was that him showing it to me? He just did a little quick flash of green at me. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Do you have anything else to say here? I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject. Yeah, I got one captured out there right now. Hey, do you got anything to say? Good day, friend. Keeping well. Oh. Did you need something? Um, what do you have for Sam? <laughs> I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Oh, yeah. I'll take all these gems. Oh, yeah. Ash rune? Ash shell? Targets that fail to resist are immobilized in hardened ash for 30 seconds. This is alteration? I guess that makes sense. Oh, and the ash rune also does the immobilize effect. Cool. Oh, I don't know Bound Dagger? Holy shit, I don't know Bound Dagger? For real? Okay. Frenzy Rune. Is that new? Maybe that's because I got my... Um... I don't know. A Poison Rune. These have gotta be new. Right? Well, like I said, maybe it is because I got my stats up higher. We've unlocked some new learning stuff. All right, what do I want to ditch here? I do have a shitload of dumb potions I brewed. Guess we'll get rid of them. There we are. Whew, jeez, yeah, I really got a lot of these. Okay. Should I take the hit? Now we can sell something cheaper and shittier. That'll do. That's fine. Why not? Okay. <laughs> Until next time. All right, good. All right, let's continue mm -hmm. on up and over. Should probably also track this, right? Good. Okay. Yeah, let's go check in on Frey and Company. There we are. Good. Head on out here. All right, and then let's do a quick save and we'll ride. Good. All right. Come on, you already forgot? Yeah, that's right. How do you like my new shout? Cut that shit out! <laughs> Good. Great. Fly me to the moon! And let me play among the stars. Alright. <laughs> Let me see what spring is like on Secunda and... Well, the syllables don't quite match up. 
Oh, I can't fast travel right now. Okay, we got... We have liftoff! Hooray! Alright, good. Over here? Yes! Very good. I wonder how much time passes. You'd think we're, we're going pretty fast, probably like an hour? Jesus, it's cold. Yo, blow some fire on me up here, whatever. You got like a whale spout or something? As you come out, yeah, please land in the village, if you will. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so kind of you. Oh, oh God. Oh, all right. Take care, you weird veiny dude. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, seeing a big, mighty, legendary, veiny purple dragon makes me very hungry for potatoes. <laughs> make our potatoes ripen as surely as he makes the snow fall from the sky. Yeah. I'm sure the Allmaker has more important concerns than your potatoes, Oslof. Oh, shit. Speaking of potatoes and cooking stuff, that reminds me. Finally, I've cooked up some hot food. Right? I just found some potatoes. I made hot potato soup because, you know, we're in the super hard mode now of uh, the survival mode. So, hey, that should help a little bit. Unfortunately, you know, fire salt's just rare as shit. I welcome hey. you, friend of the skull. The dragons of old have returned. By the Allmaker, I hope they will leave our village alone. Oh, sorry about that if that, uh, if that did anything bad. <laughs> okay. If y'all weren't big fans of that. I am in no mood to talk, outsider. One of the skull has gone missing. Oh yeah, I'm sorry he died. Unless you mean someone else? It is Baldor Iron Shaper. Ah. As our only smith, Baldor is very important to the village. Did anything unusual happen around the time of his disappearance? Why would someone want to kidnap Baldor? Why are we thinking that someone kidnapped him? Did anything unusual happen? Hmm. I do not remember Baldor acting strangely. Although now that you ask, I did see something in the woods on the day he disappeared. God, that's scary. I saw two elves in the far distance dragging <laughs> something behind them. Hunters often visit our land, so I thought little of it. Uh, where were they headed? Uh, south and west. If your road takes you that way, perhaps you could search for any sign of Baldor. The skull would be grateful. I okay. can feel it. Oh. I have seen more wolves and bears among the trees since the last If you will. I know Something it is, is not my place, but may I the offer a word of advice, of warning? Sure, what is it? As Shaman of the Skull, the I am charged with the spiritual well-being of my people. While you are not of the, the Skull, you are Skull friend, and so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mirak. Do not let him lure you further down the path. The Allmaker made you Dragonborn for a higher purpose. Do not forget that. Walk with the Allmaker, Skullfriend. Oh yeah, don't worry, Freya. I'm super duper resistant to the wiles of any Daedric Prince. I'd never go along with any of their plans. The ash from the angry mountain. told you before. Let's see. Tell Trincero, do you actually have anything on you? Let's see. If it'll help us get moving quicker. Just weird shit. Probably stuff that you got poked with. All right. Can we get Freya back? I have given my answer. Let's see. Hey. My heart is still heavy with the loss of my father. Are you sure you're ready to be shaman of the skull? <laughs> What kind of a question to ask? She seems more than prepared. What are we trying to do? Instill like some kind of imposter syndrome in her? She seems perfectly suited. <laughs> Just like, wow, are you? This is a lot of responsibility. Are you sure if you're ready for this? I don't, I'm, I'm picking up some vibes, Freya, that you might actually not be up to snuff. You know, your father, he was a great man. He did a lot. He carried the weight of the world on his shoulders. And I just don't know if you have that spark that he had. <laughs> what the fuck? We really are a villain. We're a villain. <laughs> are you sure you're ready to be shaman? I have been preparing for it all of my life. There is no question that I'm ready, but... Until you... Well, now that you mentioned it. <laughs> oh, now you, you got me second-guessing myself. But what? What is it? It is not right that I should say this, because I must honor my father's wishes, but... This is a path I never chose. 
I always thought that I would be a great hunter, or even the village chieftain. That could still happen, couldn't it? <laughs> Not if Fenari has anything to say about it. Ah, you want me to kill Fenari. When it comes to being chieftain, she is like a wolf with her jaws clamped tight upon a fresh kill. But that's all right. The Skull need a shaman, and I know that is my place. Okay. Follow me, I need your help. You have a companion already. You like okay. You don't need my help. It was specially crafted. Farewell, outsider. Okay, Teldrin. One of the finest master armorsmiths in Morrowind. We need to peace out for a bit. It's time for us to part ways. Oh, fine. Go on. Leave me here. When you decide to return to your senses, you know where to find me. All right. Thank you, Teldrin. It's been wonderful. You talk a lot. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, where did she go? Shit. Is she in here? Alright. Freya? My father was a noble man. And a true skull. Alright, I know you're all busy with the whole shaman, maybe even chieftain thing in the future, you know? But hey, don't get your hopes up, kid. But hey, I need your help. I will follow you, skull friend. <laughs> but I must return to the village afterward. All right, great. Oh, okay. Is this your new thing? Is this how you let people know you're shaman? Do you have anything on you? My heart is still heavy with the loss of my father. Yeah, I'm sorry. Very well. Skull boots. Oh no, were these her father's shoes? <gasps> oh dear. Okay. I'll make her guide you. Let's see. Anything else over in here? Do you mind if I look around a bit? Children of the Allmaker? Pearl? I could take some of this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Can we rest in here yet? No. Oh, jeez. She doesn't want anyone sleeping in her father's bed. I guess he did just die. <laughs> it's probably only been like a week. <laughs> We're just like, jeez, come on, Freya. Get over it. Come on. Get over it. I need to sleep here. Let me sleep in your dead father's bed. Come on. <laughs> Jeez, what's taking you so long? What's the holdup? He's dead. <laughs> His corpse isn't even outside anymore. <laughs> Everybody walked up My to it and I said something. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we are a My fucking monster. Scarred, but she left the village and I was born in Skyrim. All right. Do you have a all make her protect oh, us from geez. whatever dark power took control of the skull? Okay. Very well. Oh, holy shit. I suppose, you know what, when next we come back, we'll look around Skull Village. We got a bunch of shit to do, right? We've got a black book to track down, all that business. I'll uh, probably in between videos loot the shit out of our shaman hut, right? <laughs> I'll probably just take everything that's useful. <laughs> she doesn't mind, look, just as long as I don't sleep in the bed, it's all good. <laughs> all right, until next time, please take care of each other.